The stories I hear about you in Harvard when you were at the uh, Lampoon, to me, are bordering on maybe the most brilliant bits I've ever heard. Now, oh. I say this uh, with, with, with tremendous respect. The thing you pulled on Bill Cosby while you were in college is fucking genius. Uh, I'm referring to. I think his pranks since then have been better. But 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 I think he's taught me. Yeah, but Bill, Co you wanted to meet Bill Cosby. After yeah. all, he was a very popular comedian. Sure. All, all, yeah. all, uh, all the nonsense yeah, aside, all the, all, aside, all, the yeah. all the serial rape aside. Yeah, yeah you weren't we, a girl, so <laughs> yeah. he right. wasn't interested in coaching you. I just love this. I love the sentence "serial rape aside." Yeah, serial rape <laughs> aside. Serial rape aside. This guy. Yeah, this guy. Bill Cosby. He was big. You decided you wanted to meet Bill Cosby. Yeah. So, so you uh, brilliantly created an award. For we invented an award that didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and what the thing is, as I realized, is that you can people will come and pick up an award, and you've already got the sort of the ba you've got the Harvard name, you've got this, but people will come. So, I swear to God, this is a true story. We invented this award. I knew nothing. I knew nothing about show business. I knew nothing. And I'm, I am a nice. Person. How old were you? Maybe twenty? Nineteen? I think I was nineteen. Nineteen. And hey. and I knew nothing about show business. So what happened was, all I hear, absolute truth. I've, I've remembered to this day. Bill Cosby's coming in with his entourage on Butler Aviation in Logan Airport. I remember it to this day. I wrote it down on a piece of paper. I'm scared. I got to go get Bill Cosby. Now you and I know the thing to do is you call a limo company, <laughs> yeah. and they go and pick up the, Bill, Bill Cosby, Cosby, who is the biggest comedy star in the world. I don't know that. <laughs> so what I do is I take the T, the, the I take the trolley, the subway back home to Brookline, <laughs> and I borrow my dad's station wagon. Right now, let me tell you about the station wagon. And people think I'm making this up, but I swear to God, this is true. The station wagon is a station wagon that my parents always bought cars used and old and junky to save money. My dad bought a car. It was a Ford LTD with wood paneling. He got it from a motel in Maine. And on the side of it, it said Spruce Point Inn. <laughs> and it had a little, it had a tree on it. Spruce Point Inn Motel, and it said Maine. But it was kind of a junky, beat-up New England car. I borrowed that car. I drove to Butler Aviation. <laughs> You're out of your Bill mind. Cosby gets out of <laughs> with his with his two guys. He gets out of a private plane. I'd never seen a private plane before. Wearing a tuxedo, he gets uh, he walks up. And Was he looking. wearing a tuxedo? For he was his wearing award? a tuxedo for his award. Uh -huh. So he gets off the plane in a tuxedo. <laughs> so we're going to go right to the lampoon, and we're going to give him. Yeah. So he walks out. I'm there, and I'm like, Mr. Cosby! <laughs> and he's looking ah. past me for the stretch limo. All right. There's no stretch limo. <laughs> and, I, and so I open the door, and I'm like, it's in here! Come on in! <laughs> so I start driving him. He's crunched up in the back seat of this really crappy car. Yeah. We're, I'm driving him over to Cambridge. It's about a 20-minute drive. And while I'm back there, he leans over in the back, and he picks up a quarter pounder with cheese wrapper. Oh, that yeah. was in the back. And he holds it up. And kind of does a, what's this all? And I said, oh, that's just trash. You can throw that in the back, Mr. Cosby. <laughs> you can clean that up. Yeah, just throw it in the back. It'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be there soon. So, I, I mean, I was a complete when you idiot. Get him, when you get him to Harvard, yeah. you bring him where? To the, whatever the bring lampoon, to the lampoon was? And we had, yeah, and then we had him come out to the front steps, and there are, the, there are pictures to this day of So me. you had guys ready, set up with some sort of award, at least, so yes, that you didn't we feel went, like a... Well, we went and bought a bowling trophy, <laughs> and we slightly <laughs> altered it. And I mean, I feel... When you say we, how many guys are in on this? Uh, there's a, uh, I don't know, there's at least like eight of us. All right, that so were eight in guys on... who wanted to meet Bill Cosby, and they gave him an award, and you got a bowling trophy. No, and we had, we told everyone at the school that he's coming. He's a huge star, so right. a massive crowd <laughs> blocks the street. He comes out, and that's when I saw what a mastery is, because he didn't even have. I saw this guy not really do material. He just went out, but in that Bill Cosby way, talks. He's got the rhythm. And it's the and people he's killing. Right. And I was standing behind him saying, if you look at a transcript of this, it doesn't it, it doesn't really, read funny. It doesn't read funny, but, but man, funny. this guy is killing. Did he did you do you do you think he still has that bowling trophy somewhere thinking he won an award? I uh, think he cherishes it. To he, this day. I mean to Prominently this day. So yeah. probably he doesn't even know that this was uh, perpetrated <laughs> on it. Like uh, you know, all the shit he'd goof on the people. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I Honestly, wanted to meet him. I think it came from a good place. Now, does, did, did anything the, come of it? I mean, uh, meeting him. Uh, did you? Ever... I, I met him. He was very nice to me. Uh, he was very nice to come. He was great to all the students. And, and he I, never was on. this ceremony in the middle of the afternoon? No, it was in the evening. The okay. Yeah. Actually, someone recently found pictures. It's the beauty of the internet of me looking like a 
like a 19 year old woman uh, <laughs> wearing a tux and 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 he's holding the bowling trophy and smiling and it's at night this wow. is such a great thing and so there you are